we're going to an engagement party. And <laughs> so we're in the Makua. I haven't been here in a couple of years. We paid for the room on late rooms and I thought it was going to be the basic room because I looked on the website and this room was like 200 and something odd pounds, like 200 and... But we got it for 123 pounds. Yeah, one, two, three pounds. So yeah, because I mean, everywhere was expensive. The premium was bought because we usually type. And then we've got... We managed to get a free mini bar, a free plate of cake. Cake, hang on, cake, cake, cake. Cake, oh look, he knew we were coming. That the cake. <laughs> we used to go into the Premier Inn, so anyway, it's fucking better. We got mini bar. Oh, fighting things in there, but it's it's. Oh, you can't see on there. Is there any alcohol in there? No, they they used to years ago, but they removed all that. So we got Kit Kat and crisps. <laughs> Today we're going to go to a surprise engagement party. You ain't got a clue. Jenna, you ain't got a clue as well. Fingers crossed, both of you ain't got a clue. So it'll be a great surprise party. First day, slap up meal, sorted, happy days. Anything else? Can we have some cake? Okay, bye. The world's gone really shy now because we're in a really public restaurant. But we're like two feet away from people. Every time you turn that camera, it's like you're like just there. You're trying to hang your chin or something, yeah? Yeah. Terrible. I'm having a bento box. Uh, so always having a bento box. This is before we have our steak dinner tonight. But, yeah, I, sh I shouldn't have. We're gone for two meals for some of the reason. I don't know why we've done that. Why have we done that? We will have a smaller meal tonight. I'll probably just have the time. I don't think we should have to justify where we're fat. We need two meals a day. Uh, at least two meals, yeah. Sometimes more like... Five. Five, five. Okay. See you soon. Only, only another three hours of food. I can't eat another meal. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to have some in. You're gonna have to eat some in. No, bread jam. No, for what? That's it. No. No. Like. It's all. I just put it away. <laughs> I'm good at cameras. I've just had a small meal, just a warm up. Thing is, I'm not stuffed. I might have to have a salad. I think people might laugh at me. They're gonna know. They are, they're gonna know you've had a pre lunch. You've had a pre lunch and you're screwed up. You've done it yourself. Bubble tea? Sideways. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. What's that weird dick out there? there we go. go sideways. What's wrong with that? <laughs> they don't do size boat. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta tell everyone you just been walking around naked because you thought you was in the house. Confidence is key, people. <laughs> he just walked around with his wanger out as if he was just at home, and literally we got views all around this room. Only a couple of seagulls and pigeons was here. Make sure you don't get my knob in it. So, no one will see it anyway. On Thursday, Thursday. on Thursday we message a girl because... How do you know it was a girl? Because you showed me the picture. Okay. We found this girl on Airbnb because all the hotels are really like, expensive this weekend. And There's somehow no reason. There's loads of like school trips and stuff down here and piles of chabs. So, there's something going on. It's got to be like National Track Soup Day or something. We was like, oh my god, we're not paying two hundred odd pounds for a hotel room. We really wanted to go to this engagement party, but at the same time, we didn't want to go to it and then come home. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I, I should really get changed because we've only got. Stop picking your nose. Sorry. I've only got like half hour, so I got two Guinnesses to drink half hour. But the rooms are too expensive. The raddest sum was like hundred and eighty quid, which is where we normally stay. This room by year was something like two hundred and six pound online, but we used last minute and added for one, two, three. No, we didn't use last minute. We used secret. No. No, it was secret room. Last minute. Was it? I think so. No, it was secret rooms because you was like you matched the description. Yeah, secret rooms on the last minute. So I don't. Know. So, we was going to have an Airbnb because every single hotel in Cardiff was really expensive. Yeah. 
So Rob found this girl and she had an apartment like smack bang in the middle of Cardiff Central and we messaged her the, the day before pay they was like look we both get paid tomorrow can we pay for the room tomorrow she went yeah yeah it's fine just to let you know I am leaving some of my stuff in the in my apartment because obviously it's my apartment and I've got nowhere else for my belongings I was like yeah it's fine don't worry about it we'll just we're obviously just sleeping there and then we'll leave Sunday morning then. and I'll have a cup breakfast yeah we Friday came and the room was taken but we are absolutely devastated. Do you want to tell everyone why? We went through photos on, not our actual photos, the photos on Airbnb. On Airbnb. I'm pretty sure next to the bedside. Oh, no, 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 one. he's not pretty sure there was okay. a massive pink dildo. It could have been a rabbit. Mm, yeah, that's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, they all go a bit. <laughs> So, yeah. so we thought that we was going to go into a sex chamber, like a sex we dungeon. We were pretty excited. We was going to have a look around. We, we, we wasn't we excited. Hang on, let's get this one thing straight. We wasn't excited for the sex dungeon. We just wanted to be, you know the program Four in a Bed? We wanted to like proper like explore it. Yeah. We didn't want to use it because we're not all about that life anymore. We just wanted to... That would have been a fucking... That's sick, that is. Go on the car there. I'm just saying we Come just... Come over an STD, I or whatever. We don't do things, things like that anymore. It stops when you get married. Um, Ryan, Jenna, sorry people, we got to tell you. It stops. We were bitterly disappointed, but... Oh, it all got made up by the fact that we got a privileged room with a king-size bed in it, in a hotel that we didn't know we had, and it had free cakes, so... There was four cakes. Cakes or dildos? Cakes. So we was either going to go dildo hunting in some random woman's house. We want to really do that. If you want to find it, have a look on Airbnb, guys. Search for Cardiff. Have a look at every single apartment on there, and you'll come across it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which list then, but go and find it. See if you can get, see if you can find it. That's a challenge, isn't it? So yeah, we are meant to be leaving oh, in oh, half oh, an oh. hour. Robert is currently naked because he wanted to take advantage of the bath and shower. I, he's got an obsession with bath and shower and I don't know why. Yeah, because we haven't got a bath in the house, we're going to go to shower, so there's a wet yeah. room. So I took full advantage. That's the first bath I've had in about a year, you know? Cheers. I can't remember last time I had a bath. I know, you do smell a bit. Oh, uh, that was a, oh, that was it. You've done a better bit than me. You're more of a man than me. We got the, Robert wants to go to the casino. It's the adult arcade. Whoa, what the fucking hell, Zoe? <laughs> Did your torture come out? Oh. <laughs> I have to blur out this is as long as my leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll either wear shorts and t shirt, or, and a hoodie, or jeans, t shirt, and a hoodie. The problem is, though, Rob likes to wear t shirts that are five sizes too big on him because, yes, he's a big boy, but he doesn't need to wear clothes as big as he wears, and he's so self conscious. I'm trying to compliment you, by yeah. Thank you. So he always wears black because he thinks he looks slim in, but you can still see his belly. Oh, come on. But I still love him nonetheless. Bye. How drunk are you? So film the show was an eight, it was an eight, wasn't it? Ten. And I said eight last time. So I'd say four. That's a good four. Rob just had a 45 pound meal to himself. That's meant to be shared between two people. And the size of two people. Come on, like. I can vouch for that. So he's got a bad habit of filming everything apart from what she's meant to be filming. So she's trying to show it, show you the breakfast, but she's showing you the bed sheets instead. Good morning. We're gonna have our breakfast in bed now. So we've got some Danish pastries, cornflakes and rice krispies, cranberry and apple juice. See, see, balance. Balance, and then we got. That's Rob's. You got three eggs! Rob's got eggs benedict and a full English breakfast. And then I've got... see the size of me. That. 
So I'm going to munch down this start there now. Did you have a good night last night? Yeah, it was good. You just lost a bit of money last night. I didn't lose that much money at all. So we are about that. We never lose money, really. And we fucking dead. <laughs> I only lost about 35 quid, Rob lost about 100 Shut up! Don't tell everyone! <laughs> Don't tell everyone! No, but I'm going to have this food now and I'm so excited! <laughs> Ready? Still in the bottle. Yeah, shouldn't shout, shouldn't shout. Still I'm going to see. Announce it to everyone. Then, Which is free. Uh, bye bye. Have I got everything? This is where Rob's always seen these things. Like, no, no, it's really annoying. Because we've got to leave on. now. But unfortunately, he suffers with bad OCD. So I have to wait for him and I can't go on it. You can't just turn the air conditioner off. You gotta put on the lowest fan setting and then you wait and then you press off. Then you double check this off. Button done. Hi, where's Roberto? Just checking the door. Come on. Oh. No. <laughs> no, it's I don't know. Uh, no, um, Rob won't say anything because he knows I really want to go shopping. Am I right? Fucking hate shopping. So I'm gonna convince him. I'm gonna convince someone to go shopping when they don't like going shopping. Would you go shopping with me? No. That's a yes. I'm sweating. In a bit. Back in Wagamama's again. We can't go to you sushi anymore. Fortunately, well, it's not even unfortunate. It's just a norm now. They, they haven't even got half the stuff in stock. The popcorn shrimp. I, what is the point of going to your sushi without having popcorn shrimp? They're out of stock of popcorn shrimp. They're out of stock of chicken wings. I know. Chinese. No, Japanese. It's Japanese, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it's, well, it's beer ball, whatever. Yeah, sushi's Japanese. Do you want a sword fight? Oh, we're trying to get home. Oh, sorry. We got our sticks. Yeah, so basically, yours will never happen. So we put London, and we're going to go for five nights, six days, of course. We're going to take the train up this time, so I can't wait to use the train. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Awesome. I'm going to try to go as many street food markets as possible. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but we are really like foodies. Fat. Fat. 